gathering all of your ingredients. For this recipe, I will be using pre-washed and pre-chopped kale in the interest of saving time. I'm also using pre-made vegetable broth, but you can make your own. Begin by measuring out a cup of uncooked dry quinoa. Then you're going to transfer it into another bowl. Now you want to give the quinoa a quick rinse in cold water because it removes the natural coatings that can sometimes create a bitter flavor. Add one tablespoon of olive oil to a large saucepan. Next, add a teaspoon of garlic. Turn the stovetop onto medium-low heat. Then saute the garlic for one minute or until it is slightly softened. Now it's time to add your kale to the saucepan. I'm adding about half the bag, which is equivalent to five ounces. Then saute the kale for about two to three minutes. Try to really get it coated in the olive oil and garlic. After about two to three minutes, the kale should look a little bit wilted, dark, and glossy. Next, measure out your two cups of vegetable broth. Then add to the saucepan. Now it's time to add your one cup of rinsed quinoa to the pan as well. Now mix that all together so that the quinoa becomes coated by the vegetable broth. It should look like this. Now turn the heat up to medium high and bring the pot to a boil. Once it has come to a boil, reduce the heat to low and place a lid on top. Let the quinoa simmer for 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes are up, remove the lid and use a fork to fluff the quinoa. If there is a considerable amount of broth left, put the lid back on and let it simmer for a few more. If there's only a little bit of broth left, you can just saute the quinoa for a few more minutes. Once all the liquid has evaporated, transfer the quinoa to another bowl. Then add one teaspoon of lemon juice to the quinoa. If you want an extra lemony flavor, you can add another half teaspoon to the quinoa. Finally, grab your crumbled feta and sprinkle half to three quarters of the container on the quinoa. Mix everything all together. And there you have it. You can serve this dish hot or cold. Thank you so much for checking out this video. To see more awesome content, make sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below.